new shave here today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good. Cause I'm doing pretty good. Now, this is gonna be my last shave of 2019. Of, of the decade, year. Yeah, so. Wow, 2020's coming up on us. And it's crazy to be living in a time right now. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Be around in 2020, really? No. Except we haven't caught up to Back to the Future yet. We don't have no flying cars and we don't have no real hoverboards. Real. That thing they market as a hoverboard, that's not a hoverboard. That's a vertical skateboard with two wheels. That's not a real hoverboard. <laughs> okay, negative Nancy. Let's get this shave, re shave review video going, shall we? <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be like my last video of, God, the decade, 2020. It's pretty amazing. Pretty cool time to be alive right now. But we do have smartphones, but... A lot of people, smart people using them? <laughs> Go be a negative, Chris. It's my New Year's resolution. I'm going to try, try. It's hard. It, that's a hard thing for me to do. Being negative. And it's hard because I, when I start being positive, a lot of negative things come at me. And I, it, distur it discourages me at some point. I'm like, forget it. Screw it, you know? But that's my, resol that's my New Year's resolution is to try and not be so negative. It's, it's very, very hard for me, though, so... I'm gonna try though, but anyways, wow! Here we go. DE razor we're going to be using today is something very, very different I've never used. And how did you come up with that, Chris? Well, I was actually watching a Ken Surf's video about a week ago, a week and a half ago. <clears throat> Ken Surf's was talking about how travel razors. He's got a pretty good collection, nice, nice collection he has. And watch this whole video. And toward the end of the video, he said, if you're an actual YouTuber, or even, you don't have to be a YouTuber, if you're a anybody, you should get one and have it in your shave den. So I thought, I'm a YouTuber, right? You're a YouTuber, Chris? <laughs> I'm like, I'll go get one. So I checked it out, found one on eBay, fairly cheap, like he said, they're pretty, they're pretty inexpensive. So mine is a Gillette one. Comes like this, it's got this fake alligator, it's not real alligator skin. Got this fake alligator, plasticky type skin, travel case. You could fit it in your pocket or put it in there. What's that shirt, Chris? Oh, this is new from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. It's the Epic Saucer in a Sea of Blades pocket t-shirt. It's got the blade right there and the whole thing looks like razor blades. So, all DE blades. Kind of fitting for this channel, right? DE razor shaving. Who do you think you are calling your channel that, Chris? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, if you got a coat, I got a pretty nice Jesse James uh, West Coast Choppers coat, and it's got an inside pocket, and this perfect in there. You got a nice suit, carry that with you. So, very small though. Looks like this inside. Yeah, this video might be long. Now, a lot of these I've seen come with this particular blade, Gillette Platinum Plus, one blade like that I'm not gonna use this blade this has lasted this long with this kit so we're just gonna keep it with that just so we can keep this kit together so that's what it looks like hang on dog is going crazy be right back <coughs> came back sorry about that so it comes in this case it's like a plasticky just plasticky case comes with that's a handle what yeah that's a handle very, very tiny. And the blade head. Ah, dang it. It's the blade head. It's got the Gillette. Now, I don't really know what the what year razor this is. I believe, I could be totally wrong, but I think it's 1971. I'm not really sure, though. But compared to a tech razor, this is a big light tech. This is basically a tech head. But it's very different in a little point, in a little bit of aspects. Now this one is a, the, my Bakelite one is a W1, and my travel one is a R1. Now, comparing the two, two base plates, this is the travel one, this is the Bakelite one. You can see it's a little different, got the indentations here, got the holes right there. And 
this is the travel one, and this is the Bakelite one. You can see the Bakelite one has a bar, a straight bar, so we get the four, por four corners. No straight bar, but still four corners in it. A little bit different though. So, it is a tech razor, but it's, it's built a little bit different, maybe because it's for travel, so. I don't know, I'm no expert. <laughs> now, it did come with this too, my travel one. Razor manufactured by Gillette Safety Company, Boston, Massachusetts, 02106 USA. A division of Gillette Company, replace card with Gillette Blade. We'll do that shaving, but we're putting this right back into it when we're done. So, in my phone. Let's see what that looks like. See if you guys can see that. Look at me. Full cost. Okay. So, that's what we're doing today. Never used it before. All right, so. DE blade we're going to be using this is second time use Gillette Lab Blue. Got my crappy handwriting on there too. <laughs> That's what we're using today. Put that in there. Fits good in the posts. Right there. Put that on there. Put your little handle on there. little overhang but I'll show you guys how big this is here's a fat boy here's this razor about two inches long <laughs> and see if I can not get this without knocking stuff over this is next to a lady Gillette so you could just see how big that is if you're a big guy this might be a little bit hard for you to use but yeah I mean Pinky's out. It's a travel razor. Got the aluminum handle. It's got like a diamondy kind of grip to it. This doesn't look like it's ever been used. It looks brand new. It's like it's just been sitting in the package for 40, 50, 60 years, whatever. That's the razor we're using today. Almost forgot. I wanted to point something out with this shirt too. If you look, there's a little, there's a DE razor in there. And if you look inside the pocket, see the handle it doesn't just go to here and the rest of it's fake it's actually in there you can see the rest of the come on dude see the rest of the handle what razor did they what razor did they uh make that after well they made it after the <laughs> Gillette single ring if you have this shirt and you look it's a Gillette single ring so vintage coolness now we're going real vintage today so and i have a lot in this video it might be a 40 minute video but if you dig it you dig it if not oh well so <coughs> brush we're going to be using today is oh i got a lot written down the yaki target shot two in one camouflage brush um two in one travel brush travel razor travel brush comes with a synthetic knot target shot and we're, we're using though today, we're using the uh, 24 millimeter Badger. Got that silken in that cup. So that's what we're using today. Got the digital camo. Very cool. Raw. All right. Pre shave we're going to be using today is Chell. That's what we're using today. So, shall we get this started? Do it. Had the water heat up, but it's like 35 degrees here in Arizona today, so kind of cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, yesterday it had we had like um, there was snow part of the Superstition Mountains, and then there was snow on Four Peaks Mountain. A lot of people got some photos of it. It's pretty good. Beyonce got some photos of it too. And uh, yeah, look pretty cool. Four peaks full of full snow, nice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> some water. So, chill. Little spaceman on there. <laughs> Last video of the year, the decade, <laughs> century. Might as well go out with a bang, right?
Got that big shake swept coming up here in a couple months too, don't we? <laughs> Any y'all going? Any of you subscribers watching? Are you guys going? Ah, I want to go. I try to go. I call the day off though. March 28th. Be there or be square. Big Shapes West 6. Cool. My second one I'm going to. So. Got that. Got that pre shape going for me. Got the glycerin in my bowl. Now. Soap we're going to be using today is something new to me. <coughs> But it's been around for a while. I'm not sure how many years or how long it's actually been around for, but it's been around for a while. And I've, I wanted to get it last month, but they were sold out. So I'm the type of person, if I want something, I'm persistent, I'm patient. I'm going to get it. Just like my clear uh, Fasan twist razor. Looked on eBay almost every day at lunchtime. Check it out. Nope. Break time. Check it out. Nope. Get off work. Check it out. No, I'm persistent. I'm not mad about it. I'm like, oh, they don't have it. No, I'm persistent. I'm like, okay. I'll keep looking every single day. Eventually, I'm going to get something. So, I was going to get this on Black Friday, but they were sold out of it. So, I kept waiting, waiting. Check the website. Check the website. Check the website. It's available. Bam, boom, boom, bam. <laughs> so, soap we're going to be using today is a made by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, but you will not find it on Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements website because it is a Razor Emporium exclusive soap and splash. What are you using today, Chris? Well, we are using King R Emporium. Huh? You mean King C. Gillette? No. We are using King R Emporium Shave Soap. <laughs> kind of cool, right? Mavisarsic. Guy's, guy's mustache right there. Kind of an homage or, you know, tip of the hat to old King, King C. Gillette, right? Now. Scent profile: cedarwood, lemongrass, bergamot, and rosemary. Now, I did a lot of my home. I did a lot of my research and homework and history on this soap because it's been around for a while. And a lot of a lot of gents have already used it. Saw so one's website that said it, the scent profile had patchouli in it. I could be wrong though, so don't quote me on that. But that's what I've picked up from Matt Pasarsic as the scent profile. Now, this soap actually started out years ago as. <clears throat> a shave stick, kind of like the Future Fiction shave stick from Phoenix Harness Accoutrements. And it developed into a synergy soap with the metal tins, and then it went into what it is now. This is actually, this is the CK1 version. There is a CK6 version too, but I just got the CK1. Now, like I said, history on it. I've seen, I've looked on the internet and I've seen, you know, looking on YouTube and all the other gents that have used this before me, so. It's nothing new, but it's still freaking cool, so. That's what we're using it. Now, this is actually sourced from Gillette canisters of the 1900s. This scent is a wonderful complex mixture like none other, masculine, dark, light, and sweet. It is, it is reminiscent of a better time. Men were gentlemen and vintage was on the cutting edge. Now the scent to me, first smell of soap. It's a nice, clean, oh, I was gonna sound weird, barbershoppy kind of scent. Yeah, it's a very nice, take a sniff, oh, too white. Take a sniff of that. Yeah, very good scent though. And yeah, <laughs> the splash we're gonna be using today is, smells amazing too, but. Yeah, now you see that, I was at work the other day and <laughs> Lucas from Empire Records, who knows where thoughts come from, they just appear. Mm -hmm. I'm at work and I remembered something I actually owned and had. And that is, I gotta be very, very careful with this. It popped in my head after I seen this. I ordered a razor a long, long time ago off eBay and sometimes people have something extra and they're gonna give you something extra. They don't want it, they don't need it anymore and they're just like, here you go, here's something free and you're like, it. Very cool. I got this with one of my razors and I've had it for quite a while. I try to keep it in good shape. Try not to touch it very much because it's very, 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 very old. Falling apart and everything. This thing gets from the 1900s. But it's an actual box that a r actual Gillette razor and blade came in from back in the day. And it looks like this. It's falling apart. 
guys can see that. King C. Gillette, new Gillette Razor, patent pending. And on the back, if you guys want to screenshot that and check it out, I'll read it too, but so you guys can see it. Very cool. It says, this new Gillette Razor and new Gillette Blade are given to you through the courtesy of manufacturers, Palmolive Shaving Cream, Colgate's Rapid Shave Cream, Colgate's Handy Grip Stick, when you buy any one of the above products at regular at the regular price, your dealer. So those people were sponsoring Gillette back in the day for you to have one of their razors. Kind of like how NASCAR does it, where you see a NASCAR and it's got all these names on the NASCAR. Those people are sponsoring that particular driver to get him parts and everything on the road. They're sponsoring him. So now, despite your memory, Palm Olive, what's Palm Olive known for now? Dish soap, right? And Colgate, we all know Colgate's known for toothpaste now. It's red, white, and blue toothpaste and all that. So that's kind of crazy how the company started out. But what sparked my mind, I thought was cool. <clears throat> now this is very, very old and faded. And you can tell, you can see it's all falling apart. And I, I gotta be very careful with this. So it lasts a long time, but check that out. I think they got that from that idea, but very, very cool. Very cool, very gentleman-like, very, like I said, tip of the hat. That's very cool. That's awesome. So, I set that aside. <laughs> Do not get that thing wet. <laughs> I lost it forever. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Let's open the bowl. My badger brush. Okay. Dump out that water. Okay. Here we go. Oh, mix it up. Do, 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 do. Let you be. Too much water. Using a badge brush and you don't know what you're doing. Now, if you're watching, you might look a little different. I'm trying different, uh, what do they call that? Setting? pixel setting I think it's 4k at 60 or something there's an iPhone 11 that's what I'm using so yeah okay too much water oh. yeah very clean barbershoppy kind of scent classic vintage goodness all right, there we go. Huh, no fast forwarding this part of the video. You get talking. Okay, there we go. If I don't get it on my hands. Bam. <laughs> Emerald. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Left hand's wet. Ah. Dang it. Plus I've had three cups of coffee. My coffees are huge, so. <laughs> to give you an idea, I only drink coffee on the weekend. But I'll make, I'll get, I have the 12 pot coffee maker and I'll put eight cups of water in there and that's what I drink plus with a, about that much creamer. I don't do sugar in my coffee. Yeah. A little bit of creamer and coffee. Uh, a chock full of nuts. I can drink that coffee straight. I don't need creamer or nothing. It's a good, good taste to it. Looks like today I'm drinking uh, Don Francisco Vanilla uh, Don Francisco Vanilla Nut Ground. I do whole bean too. Whole bean's real good. Whole bean's nice, fresh coffee. Coffee connoisseur. Oh yeah, much better. Oh yeah. Get some of that water out. <laughs> Lather of the day. Actually, let's check that out. That is a good lather, isn't it? Good photo. Now you're using your phone. You can't. <laughs> oh. Now, I've never used this razor before, so. 
Ah, oh, here we go. Man, I made an amazing lather. Look at that. Should do a whole face shave. Nah. Maybe summertime. Maybe not. Who knows? Do a neck for now. Ah, look at that. Magnifique. I think that's good. Well, man, let's go a little far. Let's go a little longer. Oh, God, I'm here. Uh -huh. <sighs> Time we got today. We got 8.40, Monday, 12.30, December 30th. Got the camo G-Shot going today. <laughs> All right. Let's try heating up this little guy. Cold water again. Cold here today in Arizona. Wait. Alright, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't block on the fingers. That's number one. A total lady. Getting ready to leave, leaving work on my Friday. This lady's like, oh, it's so cold. I'm like, I know, it was like 35. And the lady's like, it's so cold. I'm like, I know, it's amazing, right? And she's like, why don't you move to Alaska if you like the cold so much? And I'm like, I like the cold. Not that cold. She's like, oh, he, 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 he. I'm like, thinking in my head, I'm like, wait till summertime comes around. And me bitching when it's 120 outside. <laughs> I'll deal with Arizona cold. Anyway, go be negative. Go be negative, Chris. Quick, quick. Pass number one. Here we go. Yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> ah, so small, man. Very, very little. The handle's very light, but the head is a. Like I said, the tech head, so it's still it's. There's no balance really. It's all head, but. Very nice. I mean, it shaves just like a tech razor. Very, very mild. So. See, even if you bought one of these and you didn't want to use it as a travel razor, <clears throat> and you like that head on there, just switch it out to whatever handle you like. You don't have to use it as a travel razor. You could use it as anything. You don't have to use that little tiny handle. Lab Blue second use pretty good too. Very good. <laughs> Micro Machines! <laughs> From a tail. Remember that guy? The world's fastest talker. He was in the 80s. You guys know who I'm talking. I don't remember his name on top of my head, but he used to do the Micro Machines commercial. Micro Machines! From a tail. <laughs> if you guys were around in the 80s, you remember that guy. How oh, and he used to speak so fast. That's a nice razor. Yeah. With that chill pre-shave and that soap, it's still it's still slick. Very, very tiny handle. I mean, look at that. You can see, just compared to my, it's about the size of my pinky finger. <laughs> so, anyway, clean up a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. We're gonna make a mess today. We're leaving all this. I'm a human being, I'm not perfect. Oh, let me get all this soap off there, cause you guys see it. Blah blah blah. Whatever, look at that, look at that. 
Nice lather. Leather. Who wouldn't? <laughs> right? Get some of that off in the bowl. Hey, look at that. Come on, dude. Come on, man. I made a good lather today. <laughs> Check it. I don't have them very often for Chris. <laughs> He's still learning. Okay. Gotta stoop. Yeah. Barber shoppy. That's the word. Oh no, nowadays people make nowadays people make up words and they get them in the dictionary, right? <laughs> That's the flick. That's trill, man. It's barber shoppy. Alright, pass two. Very nice. Is he sad now? Flip. Kinda of hard to use. Yeah. Even for my little tiny hands, that's a tough shave. Shaves well, but that's tough. Hand cramps real hard. You're usually having like a longer blade, you can get that throttle. Huh. Pinky throttle on, right? But in a pinch, traveling. Gets the job done. It is something I would want to use as my daily shaver every day. By all means, no. Could I use it as a daily shaver with a different handle that I liked? Yes, it's a very mild, very mild DE head. But with that tiny, tiny handle, it's a little hard to use. You gotta like, yeah. But it's a travel razor, what do you expect? It's supposed to be compact and small and travel-y. It's not going to be some $300 razor, you know? Yeah. Look. A problem area. No nicks, no cuts. Very smooth. Kind of doing like a free pass thing today. <laughs> Getting most out of 2019. <laughs> Get that, uh, oh, what I saw. Mandic 59, Mark. The Shaveologist. One of his videos I think is pretty cool. I've seen a long time ago. Time ago, time ago is he does this thing called a J hook, and he does he demonstrates the video on it. Check the video out if you want to see. But it's like I can't do it, man. But it's called a J hook. 
I'll try and demonstrate it the best I can, but I'm not professional. I ain't no professional. <laughs> the word I made up, professional. <laughs> it's little, kinda like, like a J. Like you're doing like the letter J. Dr. J? Yeah. You gotta be very careful with it. You have to be pretty much J. J. You cannot be, you cannot go like J. Cause it'll, sl you do it like that and you'll slice yourself sideways. So it's not like, you ha it has to be a really pronounced J. Not, cause you can cut yourself. Pretty good. Let's try that again. Try right there. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Let's see if we can do it on this side. Try. <laughs> Extra sleekness. Probably totally doing it wrong, but here. I'm out blocking my fingers. I did this. A little harder on this side of my neck, but yeah. Alright, let's clean this up. Okay. Clean up in the shower and put it back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Very smooth. Very good. Pretty BBS. Tiny little travel razor on that. Besides, I mean, it didn't get me in my didn't get me in my problem area. So, yeah. And I'm back. Cold water. Shake it off. water yeah. oops that's one of my broken ones I dropped I got another one I broke this one I actually used for my finger I'm gonna raise my Holding my razor and holding my brush. You don't want to. You don't want to rub that sharp edge on your face. So I just do this, and then my razor is very slick or very sticky. So, all right. Very good. Very good for a little travel razor. I think from the '70s. If you guys know for sure, comment down below and tell me what year. I think it's 71, but it's an R1 Gillette. It says Reg USA, patent off R1 Gillette, and it says Marcus Regs. Mexico? I don't know. If you guys know, if you guys know what it is, comment down below. Please comment down below and tell me. So, splash we're going to use today is matching splash to the soap. Made in USA, how to grow a mustache. <laughs> King R Emporium, 3.5 ounces. Now this stuff, the soap is a little, like I said, barber shoppy, but it's still like a clean scent. It's clean barber shoppy scent. Now the splash, is another story this smells amazing like another like step up another level it's yeah it's uh, this splash smells so 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 good it, yeah like in the description masculine 
dark and light, which is very weird, but yeah. And very sweet. It is a very sweet scent, but it's not like fruity, girly, fruity, sweet kind of scent. It's it's a scent of its own and it smells amazing. I love this. This smells so dang good. Okay, so wipe that top off. Put it on. Let's see if I can let's see if I can do it. Whoop. Never knew that man. Never knew that. And then flip it back to the hard part. Oh yeah. That's a it's a very I can't really describe it to any other scent. It's a very unique scent. It reminds me personally of like old school like them old school cars, like them old school Fords. And like New York finally like coming New York and stuff like that. Sounds weird. Like buildings and just old school. Uh, Wow, that's what it reminds me of, like old school, like America's coming around and stuff like that. I mean, what are you doing? I want people to smell that all day. <laughs> or like how they, what do they do? They like, I think, what, do women do that? I don't remember. I've seen it from somewhere. But yeah, God, that's a very good, ah, yeah, that's an amazing scent. Check it out, it's good. <laughs> Boom, that's it. 2019! <laughs> so, recap of what we used today. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, Razor Emporium exclusive. Check it out online or drive down there or the, drive down to their shop and check it out. Aftershave, the map of stars have gone there. Um, like I said, homage, tip of the hat to King C. Gillette. Very classy, very gentlemanly, and that God that's meant that's God that's meant yeah, from here. God that scent smells so good. Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements Shave Soap. King R Emporium. So we use today. Gillette Travel Razor with a Lab Blue Persona. Lab Blue Persona Blade. Second second use. We soaked our brush today in is our Latherby shaving coffee cup. Brush we used today, Gaki 24 millimeter two in one, two in one camouflage target shot. But we used the actual Badger today, 24 millimeter. Let's see, check this out. Very tiny. Give you an example how small that handle is. Oh brush we use today. Use the other one. Pre-shave we used today. Didn't use a cube. I did use a cube 1.0 in the shower, but pre-shave, gel. Chilling gel. Razor. <laughs> Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Epic Saucer and a Sea of Blades pocket t-shirt. That's what we use today. <laughs> That's it. 2019 is going away. Wow. 2020. That's that's kind of amazing to me. I'm living in a time of... It's 2020? <laughs> Anyways. That's it. So... Uh, should probably be using a bristle brush, right? <laughs> but this is what I'm using for now. Yeah, <laughs> it's how I do it. I have trimmed it a little. You get them hairs that come out. I'm like, I just trimmed it with a with a scissors. Oh, so. okay. That's it. We use this today too. Ah, don't drop it. Hope y'all ladies and gents have a good day. Have a good week. And I'll see you next year. <laughs>
Take care, guys. Oh, yeah. Be safe this year. Be safe this New Year's, too. Don't get all stuck drinking and going to jail or something. Y'all gotta come back. <laughs> so, see y'all, ladies and gentlemen, soon. Have a safe, safe New Year's. Peace, guys and gals.